On June 24th, Transport Canada announced an important proposal focusing on drones operating beyond visual line of sight. The proposal represents a big step forward for the Canadian drone industry. Think of drones as the applied technology that connects various traditional industries, such as construction, civil engineering, real estate, video production, public transit, safety, and more. It's crucial for all of us to take part before these rules become final. But of course, it's a daunting task to study over 100 pages of government documents. We aim to make this process easier by presenting you with a summary of the proposal and our draft feedback as the Drone Industry Working Group. You can learn about our group and submit your feedback with our group initiative or use the resources provided to submit individually. All the information is in the video description below. Let's begin by understanding the proposal. While the header of the proposal read beyond visual line of sight, there are actually four sections in the proposal, with three of them on the existing advanced operations and only one for level one complex beyond visual line of sight. The three added operations are medium drones from 25 kilograms to 150 kilograms. An advanced drone pilot can fly a medium drone provided the drone manufacturer meets Transport Canada's technical requirements. Most of the procedures remain the same for medium drones, except the range for distance. 500 feet being away from people, and 100 feet to 500 feet being near people. These distance changes only apply to medium drones, not the current small drones. Second, small drones operating in extended visual line of sight, or EV loss. This is for short-range flights, where the drone is far enough that it cannot be seen without visual aids, such as binoculars. The short range is within 2 nautical miles, or 3.7 kilometers. Operations must be in uncontrolled airspace, more than 100 feet away from people. A visual observer is required for EV loss, and both the visual observer as well as the pilot must hold the advanced pilot certificate. The drone used for EV loss can only be in the small category registered with registration number displayed. Number three, small drones operating in sheltered operations. This is for flights close to buildings or structures. Currently, this operation requires a visual observer. Under the proposal, an advanced drone pilot can fly a small drone without the visual observer in sheltered operations. This can be done in controlled and uncontrolled airspace, more than 100 feet away from people less than 200 feet horizontally from a structure and less than 100 feet above the structure. These added operations address several emerging areas for drones. For example, agriculture spring drones that fall under the medium drone weight, inspections or mapping for larger properties, utility corridors and around structures. One of our main feedback for sheltered operations is that it does not support FPV flights because structures do not include trees or plants. We've asked Transport Canada to recognize the importance of FPV flights and open up structures to include more above ground objects, such as trees and vehicles, especially in uncontrolled airspace. In addition to these three added advanced operations, the proposal includes the first set of rules for beyond visual line of sight. In short, BV loss operations are treated as a certificate similar to the Advanced Drone Pilot Certificate. When meeting requirements for the pilot, product, and procedures, a BV loss operation can be conducted without the Special Flight Operation Certificate. Here's a summary of the requirements. Small or medium drones can fly more than one kilometer away from an area with more than five people per square kilometer. Only small drones can fly within one kilometer from an area with more than five but less than 25 people per square kilometer. As the pilot, a new level of certification is introduced, Level 1 Complex Pilot Certificate. This requires a mandatory ground school, passing a new online exam, medical declaration, and a new flight review. An organizational certificate is required in addition to the pilot certificate having an accountable person for management and maintenance, implementing a training program, 
procedures to address risk mitigation are all required to get the organizational certificate. The word organization is not limited to an incorporated business. Any individual can act as an organization to apply. Drones in BV loss operations need to meet Transport Canada's new technical requirements. Similar to the current advanced drones list, manufacturers need to ensure their drones meet these requirements. The proposal also includes new sections for Part 9 that details the site survey process, in-air detect and avoidance capabilities, anti-collision lights, and weather minimums. Overall, the proposal maintained the same pilot, product, and procedures approach from previous regulations. It focuses on risk mitigation while providing a robust framework to support technology growth and reduce limitations. Our feedback on the proposal revolves around two key areas. First is clarification on specific sections, such as the definition of structure for sheltered operations, BV loss population density counts, weather minimums, pilot recency requirements, and more. Second, is calling for Transport Canada to collaborate with the industry on reinforcing the foundation. This includes initiatives for public education on drone safety, enhancing the relevancy of the current advanced online exam, and improving compliance rates for drone registrations and pilot certifications. Industry surveys indicate that fewer than 30% of small drones are registered. Less than 30% of drone pilots hold a basic certificate. Less than 4% of pilots have acquired an advanced certificate. Transport Canada's proposal marks an important step forward for the drone industry. But we still have much work ahead before these rules become final, and even more from there to see successful implementation. We invite you to follow the links in the video description to participate in shaping the future of drones.